Hi everyone, I'm Nick Shepherd. Welcome. This is about the difference between no and not. Selma Bastos suggested this, and I think it's a good idea. So, here goes. First, let's look at not. We use not to change verbs from positive, yes, to negative, no. I am, I am not, and so on. OK, is that any verb? No, it isn't. You can only use not with a small number of verbs, and here they are. Am not, are not, is not, was not, were not, have not, has not, and had not. And also with these verbs. Will not, would not, shall not, should not, cannot, but we write it as one word, cannot. Could not, may not, might not, must not. And of course, the short forms, which we often use, and here they are. How about the thousands of times we don't have one of these verbs in a negative sentence? What can we do? Well, we use do, does and did. I've already made a video about that, and here's the link. So, we use not to make a verb negative. Now we move on to how we use no. First, we use no to make a sentence negative, or even to be a sentence all alone. Did he wake up at six? No, he woke up at seven. Or, no, he didn't. Or simply, no. And of course, it's the opposite of yes. That's the main way we use no, but we can also use no with a noun, and it means not any. Here are some examples. He has no money. He doesn't have any money. I have no time for this. I don't have any time for this. No conditions are attached to this purchase. We aren't attaching any conditions to this purchase. No part of this publication may be reproduced. You can't reproduce any part of this publication. OK, I'll stop there, but notice the difference. The ones on the left are more formal and more definite, possibly written, and the sentences on the right are more informal, less definite, possibly spoken. And what is more formal and definite than a sign which is put up for our instruction? Here are a few. No entry, no parking, no smoking, no picnicking, no talking, no dialing, blah, 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 blah. But there are also times when we use no in ordinary conversation. Here are some examples of ordinary conversation. There's no need to wear a tie, for example. There's no point in waiting any longer, for example. There's no doubt that she'll come, for example. No news is good news. Don't forget news is singular. And to finish, some very common phrases in popular speech. First of all, no way. You won. No way. That's incredible. I can't believe it. And finally, how to respond to thanks or thank you. First, not at all or not a bit quite traditional, still used mostly by older people. Or, you're welcome, still very much in common use. And then two relatively new ones, no worries, no problem. They're colloquial, but more and more common, especially among younger people. OK, that's all. Hope you found it useful. Bye for now.